So I have a little bit of a boo-boo on my basement ceiling, which happens to be popcorn. And popcorn is my least favorite thing on planet Earth. So I went online and I started looking up like a quick fix kind of thing and I came across this Homax texture spray in a can. And what really intrigued me was I have never seen a product that has such bad reviews other than this Home Max popcorn spray. Like, doesn't matter if you're on Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever, all the reviews are like, if I could give less than one star, this product completely sucks, waste of money, don't waste your time. So naturally, I'm like, could it really be that bad? So I'm gonna take this downstairs and I'm gonna do a quick patch of my ceiling and we'll see if it works or if it is actually that bad. But first I'll finish my coffee and the Costco flyer. So my patch is directly above my head here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake the living snot out of this can for about four minutes. And then I'm gonna set the camera up so you guys get a real detailed look of how this goes on. This is making such a mess. I think I'm getting this all over my face. My beautiful shirt. I mean, I don't think it sucks as bad as the reviews say. It's, lo it's like looking like something, so. So first of all, you should subscribe to my channel. As far as the home hacks goes, it wasn't that bad, really. Honestly, I don't think it's a one star review for the old texture ceiling popcorn spray. I think you really gotta shake the can, like really shake it. And I think that's probably where most people go wrong. But you know, if I was in a pinch, I'd probably use it again. It wasn't that bad. I don't know how much or how bad it's gonna be to clean up. It says easy clean up with water. It made a hell of a mess. My hand, my face, whatever. But it should clean up good. I'd use it again. It's not that bad. They're getting a bad rap. Keep watching.